Hello, in the previous video, I showed you how you could create your own Azure serverless from scratch on Brandboard and automatically generate your Terraform code from your design. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you could centralize all your teams, your projects, and your documentation on Brandboard. So let's get started. As a first step, you're going to invite all your team members to join your organization by specifying their email address, their roles, either owner, admin, member, or guest, and then you are going to create your teams. Here, to create your team, simply need to specify the name, who are the admin, and who are the members. Once you have done it, you can create your own projects. So here, you can specify the name, the teams for admin, designer, operators, and guest, and then you can also create your own environment. Then here, you can set up your own cloud provider credentials for AWS, Azure, and GCP. For example, for Azure, simply need to specify the name, subscription ID, client ID, tenant ID, and client secrets. Then here, you can also determine, select for which project environments and architecture you would like to use these credentials. Once you have done it, you can do the integration between GitHub and Brainboard, and then all your team members can specify their own personal Git tokens for Azure DevOps, Bitbucket, and GitLab. Once everything is good, you actually go back to the architecture selector, and here you can see all your projects from Brainboard trainings to use cases, in each project, you have different environment. Here, for example, we have team A, and then here we have team B. And in each environment, you have different architectures. For example, here, Azure, GCP, and AWS. Once you have done it, we go to the deployment tab, and here you have all your files. So for example, the main.tf, the output, the providers, the Terraform TVARs, the variables, if you have created variables, and then your locals. Once we have checked everything here, you are going to do a Terraform plan to make sure that the Terraform code is actually valid. So here we are going to do a Terraform plan. So here Brainboard will do the Terraform init. Everything should be good and green, so it means that the Terraform code is actually valid. As you can see here, and is ready to be deployed. As Brainboard is a collaborative solution, Brainboard will be able to detect all ongoing and concurrent actions. So here, you need to switch off the plan before doing the apply. You can also, if you want, do a pull request. So here you are going to specify, for example, the description. You can do a pull request for with GitHub, Azure DevOps, Bitbucket, or GitLab, and then you choose a project. Once you have done it, you are going to create the pull request. And here, you can see that my name requested to merge, and then you can merge. So, Everything is good. You can also import all your modules. Let's say, for example, we're going to look at this module, Azure Vignette. Here, to import it on Brainboards, simply need to copy the source. So here, either from registry, from Git, or from files, let's say registry. Here, we either keep it as latest or we want to specify the version. And here, we're going to say module import Azure Vnet. Once we have done it, we're going to import it. And then we can use it. So here, we can configure our module. And then you can see here, but it's already in line 206. Once you have imported your module, you can create your own module 
catalog for your team to be able to use them across different environments. So here you can also, if you want, import all your existing infrastructure, either from GitHub, Azure DevOps, Bitbucket, GitLab, or Terraform files as well. You can also convert all your cloud infras, all your cloud resources into Terraform here. So we are going to do a test here. We are going to import this registry. Then we are going to say Azure VNet, and then we import it. So here, it has been imported. You have your Terraform code. Everything has been already pre-configured. For example, here for the VNet and here, for example, for the subnet. Here you have all your variables. Here, 15, one local. Your output and you read me. So you centralize everything on Brainboard. Here, for example, we go back to the Azure serverless. Now we delete this module. And here we are going to convert it into a template for your team to be able to use it. So here, organization. Here, let's say for team B. And then we publish it. Once it's published, let's say another team want to use it, team B. Here, they go to the template catalog. They look for their template here. And then they can clone it. So here in literally two seconds, as you can see, you have the diagram and you have your code. So I hope this video has been useful for you. And if you have any questions, I will be happy to help you build your own use cases on Brainboard. Have a great day.